This video is sponsored by PageProof. I don't know if many of you out there are familiar with In5. It's where you can take InDesign, your InDesign file, and export it to HTML without knowing any code. Um, it is a paid subscription software that's really super powerful if you need to do a lot of, uh, obviously, HTML, um, you know, online uh, publications, things like that. It lets you use all your interactive features that you have. You're not limited like you are with PDF, etc. But you can download uh, the free demo of In5 and use it. Um, it's it's limited on, you know, and it's watermarked and stuff. But it comes with a lot of free scripts that are there. And the scripts you can use independently without having to use In5 in at all. It's just some other some other functionality that's built in. And one of those is to be able to take alternate layouts. And if you know me, you know I'm a really big fan of alternate layouts. Um, in fact, I believe the uh, three minute max session that I did last year at Creative Pro Week was putting three different layouts inside one document. So you could have a print version, a digital like PDF version with links and whatnot, and then also an EPUB version and have all three of those inside the same document and export and send it out to the different places individually. So in this document, I can see that I have three alternate layouts. Let me actually zoom out quite a bit so we can see them. And of course they put them all in a stack when you look at them this way. So this first set is my print layout, all right? So we've got that. And the second set is the digital layout. It's a little bit bigger, we've got some hyperlinks in there. And then the third one is a wide format, all right? So I've got some wide pages here. Let's jump to this. All right, so I've got these three separate alternate layouts inside this one document. And that's great. I can work with that. But let's say I need it separated for some reason. Well, one of the great scripts that's here, that's part of In5, if I go up into a jar productions who makes In5, it loads some really great scripts. And one of them is save alt layouts as documents. So I have this one open. I'm just going to say save alt layouts as documents. And one thing to notice when you do alternate layouts, it separates one of the options is to separate the um, paragraph styles to each. So each one can be defined differently. So body text would look differently in the print as it would in the wide digital one. So when I go ahead and use this script, it creates three new documents. Here's our original with all three page layouts in there. And we've got the wide digital. Let's zoom out on that. So it's just the wide digital and the paragraph style, just that paragraph style came over. There's the digital one. Something went wrong with the styles in this particular one. I'm not really sure why, but I can just redefine the styles because they are here. And then we've got the print version as well. So now I've got three separate files and I still have my original with all three in here. So nothing has been broken. It just kind of sucked out each and made it a separate file for each. So I absolutely love this. Um, I don't need to use it a lot, but boy, it's one of those things where you're like, great. Because what I used to do is just duplicate the file three times, which is probably what it's doing, and then deleting what it doesn't need. Um, but again, I didn't have to do it. I love it. So again, you can download the free version of In5 with that. It installs these scripts automatically. And then you can use the free version of In5 if you want, um, but you also get all these extra scripts. Okay, so I've got my swatches here and I've got a lot of different colors. And there's a wide digital and there's a, whatever the other one was, PDF. But I want all these colors available, but of course they're in RGB and the web person needs to add some elements and have the hex colors in there. So this script, which also comes within five, is just add hex swatches. So I'm just gonna take this file, I'm just gonna double click on it I am not going to do it. It's not add hex. Totally wrong. Export hex swatches is what I wanted. And ask me where I want it. Let's put it right in here. And it's going to save an HTML file. And when I open up that HTML file, it shows me what the file is from. And it shows me all the hex values, uh, what the swatch name was in my document, which is nice. And the, which color space it was in and what the color value of that original space was. I love that. So I can just look at this. 
I can obviously just hand this off to whoever's doing web stuff for me, and they have all the hex uh, codes that they need for that. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.